We can't go out, so we've had to go in. First of all, if this is the first time that you've ever landed on this channel and you want to learn about mental health, emotional well-being, resilience and a whole host of other things of that ilk, then please make sure you subscribe and you've turned on the notifications so you know each and every time I post a video. So I haven't posted for a couple of weeks. We've been in lockdown now. I think we're on like the third or fourth week of lockdown. And originally it was like, obviously like, yeah, there's loads of time now. I'm going to post loads of content. Like people are going to need some of the things that I talk about more than ever. But the reality for me has been like when I've gone online, what I found is there's just this like advice overload and there's just so much being thrown at you. So today, instead, I wanted to make a video based on what I've learned about myself. I have felt that like we've had to do a lot of going in, right? I particularly felt, felt like I've had to do a lot of going in. I think the first thing that I've learned in this time is that across like social media, you are perceived in a certain way. When you create content in the way that I do and, and, and people interact with it a lot and this kind of a community that's been built, people feel like they know you. And I think to a degree, some people know, they, they, they know a large part of me but a lot of people don't really know who I am. I put a post out, I think it was about two weeks ago. Now, part of me, look, look, I'm a, I'm a child of an alcoholic. I'm a, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a brother, I'm a son. I'm, uh, I'm sensitive, but I'm also jovial. I'm also very much a, a, a wind up merchant. I, I, I am quite argumentative when pushed on politics I'm an annoyingly liberal lefty who goes far too far left and I know that I do when I do it and like there's all these parts of me that I feel don't get seen and you don't get to see that on social media right because I only really use social media I put a lot of stuff out there and I share a lot of my internal world but it's all based around emotional well-being and stuff like that so that's kind of the only side you get of me and I, I, I and so I put out this post like two or three weeks ago that was annoyingly liberal and left and was having a bit of a poke at our current leader Boris Johnson and a lot of people jumped on it right and uh, even someone even made a complaint to one of the charities that I work with saying that I had no right to be sort of um, doing the work that I do for them saying the things I was saying now the, 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 the reality is is that I post stuff like that all the time on Twitter, right? But this was on Facebook. And so a lot of people on Facebook, because when I, like Facebook, I definitely really only use to, I only really put out like versions of content that are based a lot around um, mental health and being the child around clock and stuff like that. And so a lot of people were like, oh, I thought you were different, I thought you were better. And my, my initial reaction to that was to want to change who I am, right? And become who they want me to be and who they need me to be. And then I realized I talk all the time about authenticity. So I can't, I can't do that. And then so I got caught in this limbo for a few days. Now, trust me, I do know that when I'm uh, not feeling my full self and I'm not feeling in a great place, I can become, uh, as a defense mechanism, I can become quite overly ev evangelical, right? And I start being like, you should do things like this and this is how things should be done. And it all gets a bit silly, right? Um, so I recognize that I can do that, but, but that's still part of who I am, right? So I have to be authentic and I think the one thing that I'm going to take from that whole experience and having come out the other side of it is that I want to be me I want to be my full version of myself and what that actually means is that some people aren't going to like me and that's not easy for somebody like myself who gets caught up in needing the validation and wanting the acceptance from people right I've always lived my life where even if I hate you I still want you to love me right so I've had to learn about that and I think going forward that I'm going to be really conscious to try and portray who I really am. I've just started a pod, podcast from a good friend of mine, Hass, his name is, I'll link the podcast actually in the comments. Uh, and that's gonna be another way that I wanna show my like joking side, my my, my funny, like the people that know me in person know that I, I, I like take the mickey out of people like 90% of the time. So, you know, the podcast that I'm doing with Hass, you know, we're on about episode three, I think we're recording tomorrow. And as we sort of fall into it and grow into it, um, you'll see that, I use humor and comedy probably in times when I shouldn't and I use it too much. But again, it's part of who I am, right? And and that's part of the, myself that I love. The work that I am all about is not about changing who you are in order to be lovable. My work is about 
loving yourself enough to know that you can't be someone for everyone and you need to learn to love yourself and when you love yourself wholly then the community that you build around that will be one that's based solely on you and so will be much more prosperous for you as a person than it will be trying to be something for everyone so that's one of the you know that's probably the biggest learning that I've had through this and of course that came through a little bit of pain yeah over the period of time where the community that I kind of operate in that I'm part of as that's kind of grown and I've become a little bit more visible I've started to realize you know that if I really want to be who I really am and I really want to be all the parts of myself and love all the parts of myself then that is going to mean that not everybody's going to like me and that's been a difficult learning and one that I'm probably still going through but it's hugely important to know that if the people around you don't like a part of you that is a part of yourself don't change that part of yourself just know that some people won't like you i hope this has been useful i'm gonna do some more like lockdown ramblings yeah lockdown learnings i'm gonna do a little bit more of that because i think just discussing things like this uh it's kind of a good way of unpacking who i am and, and being myself so i hope i've made sense as ever please make sure you've liked the video if you have liked it